Jenna Ortega, who doesn't know the name. As a young actress, she rose to fame for her role as young Jane in the comedy drama series Jane the Virgin on The CW. Her role as Harley Diaz in the Disney Channel series Stuck in the Middle received an Imagine Award, serving as her big break. Jenna Ortega has made a name for herself as one of the top Scream queens of her age over the last few years, having already completed Scream X with Scream 6 on the way. Jenna's love of complicated, shadowy undertakings is really coming into its own with her new series, Wednesday. Let's get started. First up, we have Jenna Ortega in her role as Wednesday Adams. Wednesday, a Tim Burton Adams Family spin-off series on Netflix, features Ortega as the titular school goth heroine. The untitled sixth Scream film, which is currently in post-production, helps to show that Ortega was quickly rising to the status of Hollywood's most wanted before she even finished her adolescence. She takes over from Christina Ritchie in this fresh edition of the classic and darkly humorous a series about a macabre but devoted family of ghouls. The October 1998 Face Cover Girl, most recently seen in Yellow Jackets, made the 1960s TV program, which was based on Charles Adams' 1930s cartoons, her own in the 1991 and 1993 film versions. Following the storyline of the Adams family, Wednesday, as the name suggests, focuses on Wednesday Adams. The show follows her life as she tries to control her developing psychic gift as she is attending Nevermore Academy. While stopping a killing spree, she tries to unravel the mystery that killed her parents 25 years ago. Jenna enjoys the macabre in real life as much as on screen. She revealed to Jimmy Kimmel that she and her mother used to listen to murder podcasts while driving to auditions when she was younger. Jeez, that doesn't sound kid-friendly to us. Jenna has now revealed her morbid childhood interest, which involves conducting autopsies on dead animals, in a new autocomplete interview with Wired. This just keeps getting better. Jenna was in the middle of responding to a a question regarding her friend and the Fallout co-star Maddie Ziegler when she admitted her passion for dissecting little dead lizards. Are Maddie and Jenna Ortega friends? Said Jenna. They must be referring to Maddie Ziegler, who has a really gorgeous baby angel face, and yes is the response. However, things took a wrong turn when Jenna called Maddie such a freak and added that she too is strange in the sense that, when I was younger, I used to do an autopsy on tiny animals. She gave the example of little lizards she discovered dead on her lawn. Jenna also discussed why she's drawn to darker films and how she subtly feels a connection to serial murderers in an additional conversation with Olivia Rodrigo for The Face. I'm connected to serial killers, monsters, beasts, and other things by some unseen thread. Regardless of where I go, since I was younger, I feel like I've always found it fascinating and have always been into it, said Jenna. She went on, I tend to go toward the scripts that seem appropriate to me. I enjoy things that are a little unsettling or that, upon closer inspection, isn't that attractive. I really enjoy disrupting stuff. However, Ortega said in an interview with the New York Times that she was truly a big scaredy cat, in contrast to her role in the Netflix series. The actress revealed that until she was a teenager, she slept with the lights on. Despite her fears, Ortega has performed a number of brave roles in the past, according to NYT. She was trapped in a basement with a corpse in X, according to the magazine. In Scream, she killed a serial murderer by shooting him. In The Babysitter, Killer Queen, she used a boat propeller to impale a member of the satanic set. Do you remember these scenes? We can't forget them. Ortega wasn't as sure about taking the lead as Wednesday. Regarding the Netflix series, she said that she had some reservations. She said, I'd previously been there and done that with teen series, and taking on her first job at a well-known brand added to the stress. According to the New York Times, the actress insisted that not every part demands that you devote yourself to mastering a dozen new abilities, like fencing, canoeing, archery, German, and twice-weekly cello lessons. With all that said, Jenna talked about life after Disney, dealing with celebrities and meeting Christina Ricci, who portrayed Wednesday Addams in the early 1990s film series. Ortega also mentioned that she was interested in trying out other genres outside of horror after appearing in the remake of the cult classic Scream and the horror movie X only this year. But as far as Wednesday goes, we'd say it's difficult to add anything new to a franchise like The Addams Family without changing its DNA, since it's been done so often before. To its credit, Wednesday rises to the occasion and makes it seem simple. We're rooting for you, Jenna Ortega. Next up, we have Wednesday's cast. Who plays who? For anyone who doesn't know this yet or missed it, don't worry, we've got you covered. The rest of the Addams Family does make a few appearances this season, even though the show mostly focuses on Wednesday and her storyline. These actors portray the famous family, various supernatural and regular characters, and the residents of Jericho and Nevermore. We believe you already know this by now, but allow us to recap. Jenna Ortega portrays our fascinating and spooky queen, Wednesday Addams, with Hollywood 
royalty Catherine Zeta-Jones in the renowned Morticia Adams glamorous black attire. Wednesday stars Luis Guzman as the father of the Adams family Gomez and Emma Myers as Enid Sinclair, Gomez's werewolf roommate. The list doesn't end there. Wednesday also co-stars Christina Ritchie, Joy Sunday, and Hunter Duan as Marilyn Thornhill, Bianca Barclay, and Tyler Galpin, respectively. We'll leave the rest of the cast for you to discover on your own when you watch the show. Following this, we talk about Wednesday Adams portrayed as a Latina. There's no doubt we're all excited to see Wednesday Adams on screen, but let's focus on how the cherished character will make a brand new appearance on film, thanks to Jenna. The singer has now hinted just how she's worked to make her own Wednesday unique from what we've seen in the past, ahead of the show's arrival on Netflix. In addition to personalizing her Wednesday from all the other portrayals of the depressed teen icon, Jenna made sure her Wednesday is portrayed as a Latina character, something that has not been included in earlier versions of the character. Gomez Adams, the father of Wednesday in earlier iterations of the Adams family, is of Castilian Spanish descent. Given that Wednesday on Netflix is an adaptation, it's likely that the character's lineage will be similar to that of the actors playing them. Luis Guzman, who portrays Gomez, is Puerto Rican, and Jenna's parents are Mexican and Puerto Rican in real life as well. Wednesday's lineage has been described briefly in the handful of little teasers that have been made available. It'll probably take center stage in the real series, and we're so excited to see how it turns out. Following this, we have Wednesday's powers. Although the Adams family has always had a connection to the supernatural, in Netflix's Wednesday, Wednesday Adams is now a young girl with her own set of supernatural abilities. In the Netflix series, Wednesday is gifted with psychic powers that let her have a glimpse of the past and the future. Let's not forget, she can't control them. They're totally beyond her control. They only appear when she touches something that sets off a mental image. Since Wednesday is a raven, Morticia explains, her visions are more intense, forceful, and stronger than her own. As a result, Wednesday can now get considerably more intense glimpses that can help her in her mission to uncover the truth about Never and find the Hyde monster. Her images are similar to electroshock therapy without the pleasurable afterburn, as Wednesday herself put it. But what do they really mean? How did she obtain them, and how are they connected to Goody Adams? Maybe she's a witch? We recommend you watch the show to find out more. Finally, we look at a theory you might have thought of. Wednesday is bisexual? Since the show's come out, fans have come up with the claim that Wednesday's friendship with Enid, her roommate slash best friend, is queer-coded, and they believe that a moment in episode 1 establishes Wednesday's bisexuality. Although this hasn't yet been publicly proven on the program, Emma and Jenna have discussed their opinions about the hypotheses in a recent interview. In the show, Wednesday doesn't talk about her sexual orientation. However, there's a scene in episode 1 when it's hinted that she might not be straight. When Wednesday tells Xavier that she's waiting for someone at the carnival, Xavier wants to know who's the lucky guy or girl. Wednesday responds, remaining vague regarding her sexual orientation. What does it mean to you? Fans are interpreting this incident as evidence that Wednesday is attracted to both men and women, even if it's possible that she is straight. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think the remake does justice to the original Adams Family? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you at the next one.